Is there anyone with an orange book? Unayon. Let me. Man? Hey. Company bus. At the end of chapter chapter three, you must understand the change in length. Change in length. <coughs> At the end, you must understand the change in length. And the change in length. We have two changes in length, x and theta l. So we will be using this one. Change in length due to axial force. And this one change in length due to increase in temperature. For instance, if you are having a bar and you heat it up, does it increase in shape? In size, ne? it does increase. If you start pulling without heating it up or changing temperature, does it, it increase? No. It does. So that, that at the end we have a change in length. So now we'll be looking on change in length due to applied force. So this one will come to this one along the way. So okay, <clears throat> before we talk about X, we must understand force. Force is equal to stress times area. I'm correct, ne? Yes, force is equal to stress times area. Which force? What determines the force? It will be the stress. For now, we'll be looking on two stresses. Compressive stress and tensile stress. If, for instance, we are having a bar, this is a bar. If you pull and pull and pull and pull, this one it will end up tearing up there. Ne? So it means the stress there, it will be tensile stress. For you to get a tensile force, you need a tensile stress. Should it happen that on the same bar, you push, you push, this one it will end up being shrink, being small, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So meaning at the end, the force which you get there is a compressive force. Therefore, the stress is a compressive stress times area. Both of them are the force applied at the end of the bar. So now, let's take, for instance, our, our area. We applied for axial force there, going to opposite direction. We have one, two, three at the bottom here, four at the back there, and five here. We are saying force is equal to stress times area. Ne? Mm -hmm. So that is force. What kind of the force are we going to get? Ne? What type of the force? Tensile, compressive? Tensile. tensile force. We are having tensile force is equal to stress, tensile stress times area. So I want to know from you, which area I'm going to use? I'm going to use area one, area two, 
area 3, area 4, area 5. Which area? Or let me limit them because area 5 is the same as area 1. Area 3, same as area 2. Ne? Hey, same as the one on top there. We use area? We use area 1. The area which you use, you use the area where you have applied the force. Yes. So if you check here, you applied your force here. So this is the area which you use. If you were applying force at area 2, it means this is the area which you were going to use. Do you understand that one? Eh? Yes. yes. So that's perfect. So now, I will only draw this one and the area which you see is area 2. Area 1 is somewhere this side, which you're supposed to use. Do you understand me? Eh? Mm -hmm. Yes. Area 1 is somewhere there, which you're supposed to use. As you pull there, you pull and keep on pulling. What will happen to this part? Will it expand? Will it shrink? It will expand. Eh? So here you are having original length. This, this is the original length. It's the length before you start pulling. That's why the, this one is called original length. So as you pull, this one it end up expanding. it end up expanding, meaning at the end you'll be having original length, which is somewhere there, plus this extension in length. So this one is the one which is your change in length. That's your change in length. After it has expanded, you check with how many millimeters has it expanded. Should it happen that instead of of pu pulling, you are pushing. This is the original. Instead of pulling, you are pushing. So this one is going to shrink. At the end, you will have this size after it has shrink. Meaning initially it was here, but it, it has shrink to that point. Meaning this one, this distance from there to there, it's your change in length. This from the this one from here to here is your original. The original length you had before it starts shrinking. So this length from there to there is your final length. The length you, ha you are having after it has shrink. So same applies from there to there. This is your final length. So it will depend on the type of the force you have applied for you to get a final length. If if you apply a tensile force, meaning your final length will be original plus that one, plus extension. If you apply a, a, a compressive force, your final length will be original, then you subtract that one. Are we together on that one? Okay. So this one we're just talking about when when looking at one bar. Looking at one bar. So let us check if we are having two of them before we go deeper on extension or on this chapter. Now we're having two. Let's take for instance we're having this one. We come and connect another one here. This is number one, and this is number two. We again have the other one here. We connect the other one at the bottom. There are two. Or we decide to have this one 
This one, it has a wool, and the other one will put it inside the wool. The blue one will decide to put it inside the wool. So if you check here, this tube, this one, it will be a series connection because the other one is connected at the end of the other one. So this one, it will be parallel because they are going parallel. So, when we talk about compound bar, before you start solving, you should understand if it's a parallel connection or it's a series connection. You understand that one? Eh? Yes. yes. So this one, it will be parallel. Parallel connection is either they put their parallel connection in this manner, whereby you have number one and number two. This one is one. Even this one is one. I think this is one thing with the whole inside. This one is two. Series connection, series connection, and parallel connection. So let us look on the two individual. These two, what can we conclude about them? Okay, what's the relationship between the length of the two? They are equal, eh? meaning once they say it's connected in parallel, what you need to know is the length one is equals to the length two. Original length for one, you must know that it's the same as original length for two. If this one, we come and find a way to fix them together here and fix them together here. They are fixed together. Eh? When we pull to this direction, when we pull to that direction, which one will expand more than the other? Remember, they are fixed together. Then you start pulling. Meaning, as you pull this one, as you pull this one, you are also pulling this one. So which one is going to expand more than the other? Number two will expand more than number one. All of them expand equal. All of them they will expand equal. Eh? So if you are saying number two will expand more than number one, it means at the end you are going to have something like this one. Now with number one, try not to expand. Eh, I do not understand. Or, 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 or you are saying both of them, as they are trying to expand, I think this, this one and this one, they are fixed together. And number two, as they are fixed together, when you try to pull, this one, you leave this one there, and this one, it will expand up until there. But they are still fixed together at this end. Will it be possible? I think these two, they are fixed together. Meaning, wherever they go, they go together. Meaning, at the end, when they expand, they expand together. You get that one, eh? So what can we conclude about the, the extension here? Extension? One is the same as extension for two, ne? And it's also the same as extension three. And the same as extension total. Total extension. Meaning if you can calculate extension from bar number one, it's the same as you have calculated total extension is the same as you have calculated extension for number two. Okay, let us look on this one. If they say series connection, can we say L1 is equal to L2? No. We cannot control that one. Eh? So meaning L1 is not equal to L2. Because this one here, you can decide this one to put to make it 100, and this one you decide to make it 50, 50 millimeters. I think they are connected in series, meaning the original length is not the same. So okay, let us talk in terms of extension. Let's say we hold there, we pull to this side, and we also hold there, we pull to that other side. Is this, go, is this one going to expand as like this one? They will expand the same. 
Remember, he we are pulling here. The, we have the first day and also the have the first day. The force we pull, we also pull on the other side. So will this expand the same as this one? Yes. Yes. No. Yes. Which answer is correct? Okay. Let us, for instance, this is, is, is an example. Ne? Let us take, for instance, this one is made of a steel. Or, or this one is a plastic. Just an example. Which one it will stretch more? Plastic. The plastic will stretch more. Ne? And this one it will stretch more. Yes. So meaning, we cannot conclude that this one, they will, they will have the same extension. Because you are saying this one, it won't stretch more, this will stretch more. Meaning extension here and extension here is not the same. So, let, let us, for instance, this one is this one there, this is original. And this one is this one there, is original. Meaning, you are saying this one, it won't extend a lot, it will extend, maybe extend up until somewhere there, as you pull. This one you are saying it will extend more. Let me reduce this one. As you are saying it extend more, maybe it will go there. Can you see? You are saying this it will stretch more than this one. So initially, the total length for the two, the total original length for the two, it was that one. So we had expansion here. Also we had also had expansion there. So what will be the total expansion? Sorry? What will be the total expansion? Sum of the two, ne? Meaning, the total expansion here, it will be expansion for this one plus expansion for this one. Meaning, once they say it's a series connection, you must know that the total extension, you must add all expansion in series whereas when they say it's connected in parallel connection you must understand that the total extension is equals to for only one either the two you understand eh? so that as i said you must always understand is it a series connection or a parallel connection Okay, let us come to force itself. Force. We want to see the behavior of force. It's this one here. Force on this one. Is the axial force, the force we are pulling, is it the same as number one and number two? Or do they differ? Force. If, if I'm pulling here and I'm pulling there, Pulling to this direction. The force exerted here is it the same as here or they are, are, are they different? It's the same. It's the same, ne? Yes. They are the same. Okay. Meaning F total is equals to F1 is equals to F2. That is the applied force. But there's a catch here. There's a catch here, which you need to understand it clear. As you are pulling here and you are also pulling to that other side, if it were to break, which one will it break first between one and two? Two. Two, two it will tear before two. Two, two it will tear first, ne? Mm -hmm. So in other words, meaning. This one, it needs more force than this one. So meaning if you were to calculate a force using this one, you will maybe may get 50 Newton. It's just an example. Ne? When you calculate force here, you get 30 Newton. If you calculate the force which this one can be able to handle, meaning if you increase the force by one, 
51, this one will break. But can this be able to take 51? Mm -hmm. This one, it ends at 30. Mm -hmm. So what does that mean? It means the force which you need to apply here, it must not exceed 30. Even though this one can take 30. Okay, this one can take 30, ne? also this can take 30. Meaning the force which you apply here, it must not, not exceed 30. So, your total force here, Ft, is equal to force 2. Your total force must be equal to F, F2. Even though this one can still take, but the once you, you use the force for this one, it means this one it won't be able to handle that force. This force is the one which you have applied there. Meaning if you are given this two to calculate the, the, the total force, if you are given this two to calculate the total force, you must take the one with the smaller area, ne? provided the stress for the two is equal. If the stress of the two is not equal, you must calculate the force here, you calculate the force there, and then you take the smaller force. That will be your total force. Am I not confusing you on that part? I'm not, ne? Okay. So, meaning that, that, that it was series. Let's go to parallel. Let's go to parallel. In parallel, we are applying a force here. It doesn't matter I'm pushing or pulling. Even there, I'm also applying a force. The force which causes the extension. At least the force that causes extension. Yes. So now, I want to know. Between the two, will I apply the same force or different force? The same force. So I say this one is the same as this on the other side. Okay. I'm the one who's having a total force. I'm the one exerting force. Ne? This side, I hold a child. This side, I hold a bigger person. Someone very with myself. Very strong. So now I'm pulling them. Where am I going to use a lot of force? From the child or from the, the muscular person? From the muscular person. Eh? But as I'm pulling them, will they move, their movement differ? Their movement it won't differ. Eh? But the difference is this side I'm using a lot of force and this side I'm using lesser force. Agree, I'm trying to balance the two. Same applies, this is what's happening here. One of the two, this one and this one, I won't use same force. No, this one, it won't need more force for me to pull it. What is this one? It needs more force. In another way, the force for when connected in parallel, total force, it will be force one plus force two. I agree, I'm, the, I, I'm, I'm a one person who's exerting that force. The smaller force which I'm exerting this side and the greater force this side, these two forces, all of them it, is coming from me. Unlike when I'm pulling someone who's pulling some, the other person. Maybe if it's a person you won't understand. Just imagine a, a truck. Here is a truck pulling a trailer and this trailer pulling the other trailer. This truck it exerts one force, which it pulls this one, also that one. That is the same force, unlike when it's a person. For instance, those are those who are from a Makaya. Those are from Makaya. When you plow, you have your donkey here and another donkey here, and they see those that are going like this one. The one with the one which pull pulls a lot, it will go in front of the other one because there's no way that they can make it pull at the same same like move at the same space so but here we did manage to make sure that these two they move together meaning this one it won't pull as like that one 
the hands at the end, your force will be like that one. Do you understand, guys? Okay. Let us refresh. We have a parallel connection and a series connection. What is it that we know about parallel connection? What is it that we know about parallel connection? They have what? Original length is what two? Original length for one. It's what original length for two, ne? And this one it also say final length. Final length for one, it will be the same as final length for two, ne? Final length for two. In parallel. And what else do we know in parallel? Sorry? Same extension, ne? X1 is equals to? X2 is equals to? X total. Meaning if you want X total, you can just take from 1 or recalculate from 2. Then you will get your, your, your total extension. What else do we know in parallel connection? Yes, total force. Total force, you must take F1, you add with F2. You must know this one because from now we are going to apply that one. Is there any other thing we, we are aware of? Go parallel. Okay. So, series connection, what is it that we, can, we know? Sorry? The length are not the same. We cannot conclude that the length are the same. We cannot conclude. But that doesn't mean they cannot make them equal. They can make them equal. But in our space, we cannot conclude that they're equal. Unlike here. Unlike here. Here we can conclude that they're equal. But here we cannot conclude. And what else? Same force, ne? Total force. For total force, which one do we use? We use the force for the smaller area, ne? We use the force for the smaller area. Your total force will be the force for the smaller area. But saying smaller area, somehow it will catch you up. But for now, let us talk about smaller area. Because in, in some instant, you may find that this is a smaller area. This is a bigger area, but this one is it has more stress than this one. The stress of this one is more than this one. For instance, if this one is made of a steel, this one is made of a plastic. Just giving an example. Yes, but if they are made of the same material, that is a definitely show that the smaller one is the one with the smaller force. Yeah, you 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 will rectify my spelling. You know how to write. Do not copy as wrong as they are. And what else do we know about that one? About sales connection. What else do we know? Uh, the extension. Sorry. The extension is close to. Extension, eh? Is the total extension. Total extension. X1 plus X2. plus X2 plus X3 if we have 3. Is there any other thing we know? Sorry? Yes. You must keep that one in mind. So, okay. We have something called strain. We have something called strain. How do you calculate strain? How do you calculate strain? How do you calculate strain? J 
चेंज लें तो वाप स्ट्रेन इस इक्वल्स टू चेंज इन लेंथ ओवर ओरिजिनल लेंथ दैट इस स्ट्रेन सो वो कैन से स्ट्रेन चेंज इन लेंथ इस इक्वल्स टू स्ट्रेन टाइम्स ओरिजिनल लेंथ And force is equal to stress over area. We also have Strain is equals to stress over modulus. We also have that one. Stress strain is equals to stress over modulus. Meaning. Instead of substituting strain there, you can say x is equals to stress times e. No. Over e times l. Is correct, ne? Meaning, if you want to calculate your change in length, if you want to calculate your change in length, you can use this one. This one is the original length. This is modulus. This is stress. And we also said stress. We also said force is equal to stress times area, meaning stress is equal to force over area. Or we can also say change in length is equal to instead of having stress here, we will substitute stress by this one, meaning we are having force over area. L over E. Is either use this formula or use this formula. Meaning, if you are having stress, you can use that formula to calculate this one. If you are having force, you can use that one, the bottom one. So, what do we know about changing length in a parallel connection? The equal, eh? So, under parallel connection, parallel connection, you are saying x one is equal to x two, right? Mm -hmm. Meaning, when if we were to substitute this one, we will say this is f one times l one. Over area one times e one is equals to f two times l two over area two times e two. Will I be right if I can here I say length length and the length cancel? It's correct, ne? Meaning under parallel connection, I can say this one and this one, blah blah. So after that meaning, I can get F one and F two. So okay. Uh, so if I were to substitute this one, will I be right if I say four F one over pi? If it's a diameter, over pi d one square. Okay, one d one square times e is equals to four f two over pi d two square times e e one e two. 
is correct in that way, ne? Meaning pi and pi cancel, four and four also cancel. Therefore, under parallel connection, you can still use this one. You can still use that formula under parallel connection. Let me erase this one here. So can you see here, this is a parallel connection. You have F1 and F2. You can, you can get F1 in terms of F2. Then from the name, you will be given a total force. Your total force, it will be F1 plus F2. That's your total force. With this formula plus this formula, you can find forces, which you were looking for. Under a series connection, under series connection, that why it was parallel. We said x total is equals to x1 plus x2. So if you are given x total, depending on what you are given, you can able to solve whatever you are looking for. I have this question here. Let us do this question. Then, no, it's not a question, it's an example. We'll do this example. After doing the example, then I'll give you exercise. So we'll see, we'll call it a day. The rest we'll see it and tomorrow. before you forget what you have done today.
calculate the stress in each portion of, as well as the change in length. The one the change in length and the stress. These two are connected in parallel. Am I right when I said these two are connected in parallel? Yes. What makes you think they are connected in parallel? Identical. When you say identical, what do you think? I think it's exactly the same. They are exactly the same. Mm -hmm. Identical. So that does, when they are exactly the same, that does it mean they are connected in. They are connected in. In parallel, when they say they are identical, he says no. Why are you saying no? Okay, which one it, it, it tells us that connected in parallel? The common name. Yes, the common name. So here we are having a common name. According to what we have learned so far, the length can be common when it's connected in parallel. Ne? Yes. Sometimes they will tell you that it's connected in parallel. Sometimes they will, the, the, the question, the question itself, it will tell you that this thing is connected in parallel. For instance, if they say the ends, both ends are fixed together, is, is it possible that both ends of these two, they can be connected together if it's not parallel? There's no way, ne? Yes, sometimes the, with the question, so okay now we know that this is connected in parallel in parallel they want us to find stress stress ne? they want us to find stress we know that force is equals to stress times area meaning to find to find the stress of the steel to find the stress of the steel we need to use the force of the steel and the area of the steel. Do we have the area? We can calculate the area. Ne? Do you have the force? What is the force? 160 kilonewton. So, okay, you are saying the force is 150, 160 kilonewton. Is that force for the, for the steel? Is the force for the steel? Uh, what is it? The, it starts here. Right? If a tensile load of is applied to the bar, I we are having compound bar. So meaning here we are having this compound bar. Then we apply a tensile mm -hmm. load of 160, 160. So here we're having a steel and a copper. So you are saying 160 is, is the force for, for a steel. Is that what you are saying? Do you agree with him? Okay, what do we know about force when the connection is parallel? What do you know about the force when the connection is parallel? F total, F total is equals to F1 plus F2. Ne? In this case, we are having a steel and the copper, meaning F total is equals to F steel plus F copper. Meaning this is the force which is being applied, the total force which is being applied. So now I want you to tell me why I say 160 kilonewton is for, for steel. Which statement tells you that this one is for a steel? Sorry? There's no statement which says ne? this is a total force because they say this force is being applied on the compound bar. 
When these two are together, they form a, they form a compound. Bar. You understand that one? Eh? So meaning this one, this one, one sixty, is the total force. Can we conclude that this is the force which we have applied here? Can we say this one is first? This one is not. Eh? So meaning we need to find. We need to find the forces here. We only know this force. We do not know this force and this force. Meaning we can say 160 is equal to Fs plus Fc. So, with this one, is either we leave it there or we write it in terms of stress. But now, we said we want to go to use this formula whereby force s is times stress s equals to area we do have the area we do not have the force so let us calculate fs so, so again in, in parallel connection what is it that we know what is it that we know in parallel connection sorry the length the length is equal, eh? Okay. And what else do we know? The total extension is equal. Extension is equal, eh? Yes. Extension for S is close to extension for y. H. Let me write, use X. X and X for copper is equal, eh? Yes. Which formula that has force can we use to calculate this one? Over okay, here we already have F. We can say this is our e equation one. Which formula can we use here? F S times L mm -hmm. over area times E is equals to F S F C times LC over AC times EC. It's correct, right? Yes. So this L and this L doesn't they cancel each other? Yes. Are we not given this E? Yes. Are we, even this E were given, right? yes. we can we can able to find this one, right? Yes. And this one, right? Yes. So from there, we are having FS in terms of FC. This it will be our equation two. Then we'll come and substitute here. You understand? Yeah. Then we are having is either Fs, then we can find Fc. Then we'll come and substitute there. If we want to calculate Fc, it will be stress C times area C. I want to see if you understand what I was saying. Calculate this stress which they are looking for. Quickly calculate with the given information.